become Americanized very fast. In my early years, the, I had a lot larger population of kids that were immigrants that had been born in another country. Now almost all of my children are second generation. And um, it makes a difference in terms of their language, their ability to uh, talk to their parents. Uh, when I have a conference and I try to get the kids to, uh, to translate, and I hear every other word English, I realize they can't truly speak to their parents and, I, and their parents can't really speak to them. So that's an adjustment that I encourage them to, to read something in English and talk to their parents in Chinese. Because how can culture be passed on if you can't even talk to your parents? And they have, I mean, you're, they have to talk baby language to the kids. So, how can they understand their own traditions, their own heritage, their own culture? They can't talk to their parents. So one of the things I do is I make sure that I teach them about their own traditions. When it comes to Chinese New Year, I have learned everything there is to know about it that I can, and uh, we go through it in detail. I have teachers that tell me, you're more Chinese than I am. And, and so it's happening that as the people become acculturated and they lose the language, language is very important and you don't really understand things. And so although the people that you're talking to, they're very aware that culture can be lost, that people can look Chinese and not seem or act Chinese. And so that's part of the awareness to help kids to understand that there was a glass ceiling before and somebody came before you to help break it or at least crack it for you. In fifth grade open court they have a heritage unit that happens to come during Chinese New Year. So I circle it around and we have, uh, I have the kids interview their parents. They have to come up with writing about it. They have to write about holidays. So I do try to continue the same thing. I mean, it's a lot of extra work because kids don't naturally know how to ask follow-up questions. They'll just take what's given them, and so what, you know? One of the reasons things work in Chinatown is the families. Because when I send my family report home, you know, I get support. I get parents coming in. And so, if there's a problem in education, it's that some people have forgotten what good teaching is. You know, bringing in the family, you know, the, the whole thing that it takes a village to raise a child. It takes more than a teacher to teach a child. 